Welcome back, y'all. It's LFG, and it's time to get out to deer camp. One of my favorite places in the world. And today is the first day of the hunting series with Mullet Man Mike and my boy, Jared Outlaw. Y'all probably know him just as Outlaw. I wanna to preface today's video by saying there's been some suspicious activity on my channel, and I'll be going into more of that tomorrow. But for now, there's gonna be no pop-up ads on my videos, and you'll understand more why tomorrow. But I have been in touch with some product sponsors to keep the channel rolling, and today's video is brought to you by Blink. I use Blink at the Treehouse. What it is, it's a system of cameras that allows you to connect to your smartphone. It's super easy to set up across your Wi-Fi system. It allows you to monitor your home anywhere you are using your smartphone. There's no contracts, there's no subscription fees. It literally is like a game camera you can check through Wi-Fi inside of your house. And it's also an Amazon product, so if you want to, you connect it to Alexa. They make them for inside, they make them for outside, so you can have them on your back porch, inside your baby room, I put one in Emmy's room, and so you can monitor all the time what's going on inside, outside. So if you want to monitor in clear HD what's going on inside your house, get notification to your smartphone anytime there's movement inside of your crib, make sure to get the Blink cameras. And if you want to save 15% off, they got you hooked up. Get an extra. Get an extra 15% off when you go to blinkproject.com slash LFG. That's blinkproject.com slash LFG. And if you don't want to type that in, I've got it at the top of the description down below. So you can just go ahead and click that and make your life a little easier. So thank you, Blink, for the help this week. And now it's time to get out to deer camp and let the good times roll. Hey, boy, boy. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Hey, boy, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new and interesting hunting vlog brought to you by LFG. Many of y'all that have followed the vidges, vidges, see, look who's here, outlaw. That's when it starts coming out, daggum. Mike over here, he's got a, he's got a deer he needs to kill. This is already work in progress trying to get his. Outlaw's here to get a deer and uh, I've got camera equipment and it is much, much harder to get a, uh, a hunt on camera. So that's my goal. I think we're gonna load up in one truck right now. Mike, can you briefly explain what's happening there this, with that? This is Kitty. This is super Kitty. Kitty. What's, uh, what's the deal there? I like the mount, straight up and down, reaching for She's supposed to be reaching for a... Uh... Reaching for hey, the stars? I'll show you coming here. Okay. Tell me this is like a character in your vlogs. Huh? This is a character in your vlogs? No. So this is supposed to be one prowling, one missing a quail, and then one has a quail. Oh, this is a group a group mount. It's like, yeah. I see. Whoa. The quandary with filming hunts and, well, anything that I go film is always what to take. It's kind of like packing tackle. Like, I always want to carry that one extra box or this extra rod. Probably won't use it, but you never know. So, with three guys with hunting equipment getting in a truck, and then two guys that film full time, and Mike's doing his YouTube thing now too, uh, there is almost no room left. And the worst thing is on hunting, you don't want to carry a bunch of stuff in. You know, you don't want to be the guy with carrying in, you know, tripods and sliders and you know, multiple cameras, it's harder, much harder to film that way and get around. However, to get the cool shots, you kind of have to. So you're always taking twice as long to do things and holding up the group. Oh my gosh. Mm. Good God, dude, that never normally this deep. Oh, ah! is that a peacock? You know when you got peacocks at deer camp, something something wild is going on. Hopefully, we get some brown down, as I would say. Brown is down! Brown is down! There's Mike up there in that little little meat wagon shooter. The old backwoods backstrap. <laughs> no real. This doesn't even feel like deer camp. No, it don't. Remember the last deer camp we stayed in together? Oh, what was it? Oh, big, yeah, dude. It was not. I don't ever want to go back to that, dude. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Your deer meat was awesome, though. <laughs> this is 
it. And no matter what, if you never kill anything at deer camp, this is like the exciting time. You get there, it's like, yeah, boys, we're here. We're in the daggum woods. It's yeah. time to be men. Do I need to be quiet? I'm just making sure I don't want to be quiet. I want to be loud. I want to be excited. My gosh, is this deer camp? <laughs> what? Excuse me. This looks like Deer Lodge. Deer Lodge. Look at this. Look at these cedar beans that are all natural fied. I love that. Is this deer camp? This is a deer camp. This is like Degum Backstrap Motel here, dude. Look at this. Look where all the hunters have walked through this path. This is insane. Look at these rocking chairs. Look at this wood. Oh man, I love this. Absolutely, this is awesome. This is the nicest deer camp I've ever seen in my life. Y'all, I feel guilty even uh, even showing this because this just feels like luxury hunting. I've never been to a, a deer camp like this. But if you look out over the hills, you're literally looking at the hill country of Texas. How cool is that? Look way out there. Let me get you a little focus. Bam. Oh my, are you? What the? Can we do like a flashback of deer camp? Oh last yeah, let's year do a flashback. This is my bed. Dang I'm giving y'all a good bed. Dude, I don't know what to say. I just want to put in a formal complaint about all the deer hair. It's hard on my allergies. You have a Roomba or something in here? Take a gander. Take it, take it, take it. Take a good golly gander. Almost exactly a year ago, right before I was having brain surgery, me and Outlaw went up to, uh, to do a deer hunt. When we got there, we were like, I don't know if this is the right place. That's exactly the word. <laughs> we, see, we drove by it. We're like, I don't think this, this is the place. right place. That's exactly the <laughs> And they're like, y'all come in. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, what's up? There was like 14 dudes huddled inside of a little living room. Yes. Ironically, yeah. the most outlaw fans ever spotted in a county Dude. was there. That, yeah. It I was there. Know, I didn't even know people lived there. And they were coming out of the cornfields and I'm like, ah oh, no! That was some dip! It was crazy. I don't think we're gonna be running into that that thing here. But what we are gonna be running into, hopefully, is some beautiful hill country white-tailed deer. Look at that rack. So where, this did this, is where did the groceries come from? You didn't explain all this. I said I'm going to the grocery store before y'all come because I don't want to have to stop on the way there. <laughs> I just got a 360 of that mullet. What is that for? <clears throat> Wasabi, what is that for? Deer sushi! We'll have to find out. Deer sushi! How'd y'all know? For real? Yeah. They call that, uh, what is it, the heart? Venashimi. Look at these arrowheads, man. Old school. That's solid, man. That's cool. It's crazy. Little bitty old troglodytes. Arrows. Look at that. That's probably from like a mountain lion. Awesome raptor, dude. Yeah. Look at this, dude. Megalodon tooth. Oh my gosh. They used to swim it's around here. Put that piece of grass right there and set it on fire. <laughs> Ho! Yeah. Y'all mind getting my arrows too? I love you. Thank you. So looks like we're on at 20 and 30. I think we're good, man. I have not missed an animal yet with this bow and arrow combo. I really like it. Got outlaw music playing in the background. Hopefully no copyright strikes. Thank you, outlaw. One thing left to do, and that's get in the stand. Shut up. Get our cameras ready and get a deer on camera and then let some arrows fly, y'all. So we have got about two hours left of daylight. You might be wondering why I'm riding in the back of the truck, but uh, hey, hey, how we doing? There's not enough room on the inside, so I'm riding on the back. Uh, here, let me grab my camera first. Big mud hole, took out the Toyota. This is gonna be juicy, folks. Try to pull it out through here. 
is gone. I've been instructed to shoot a doe, the first doe I see, or a cold buck, which is going to be an eight point or less. So, that's my objective. How long is possibly going to try to go after a trophy? We're not sure. I have some huge bucks out here. Huge. But I wasn't even expecting to hunt today, so I'm super pumped. Gentlemen, let's hear something. <laughs> you got anything? No. Did you see anything? I saw one little deer. No. Yeah. I, I didn't know what it was. It was so dark. Oh, really? It, it could have been a button buck. It was small. Did you see the, see the sky? Oh, yeah. Did it come to the feeder? No. So you didn't see no deers. No, oh your lens isn't open all the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Give me. Y'all gotta tell me next well, time. What the hell? Hey. <laughs> I'm trying. It keeps going back out. Oh it does? There you go. Oh, it's like a booger. Yeah. So uh yeah, we didn't see nothing, man. And the full boob just started. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't so even think talking. about it. I didn't either. I like when we got when I got out of the stand, I was like, dude, I can still see everything. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up, I was like, whoa, that sucker's bright. Oh. Which is for all y'all that are uh, new to the hunt game, it gives the deer plenty of opportunities to roam around at night and see. Did y'all see any We saw like deer? 15 no. dove. Yeah, we saw doves. Yeah, we saw doves. All right, I saw one doe, maybe a button buck. I don't know what it was, but anyway, we're just getting started. Just getting fired up. So is the full moon. Just <laughs> warming our hands up. <clears throat> I have a question. What? What do you think is the most majestic animal on these walls? Oh, for real? Yeah, because I have one in mind, and my, me and Mike already talked about it. I already told him my opinion. The most majestic? Like most, if you had to pick one, uh, majestic looking. It puts out like Game of Thrones type vibes or something. Like it would be on a crest of a sword or, or what would you pick? Fallow. You'd pick a fallow? Yeah, dude, it's gotta be a fallow. It's They're pretty majestic. Like like when you see them, that's a bad representation. I don't know, I guess you can see it on the side. You can see it right there. Fallows, they just look like they're growing wings on their head and they're gonna fly away like a dang red bull. That's a good explanation. I don't yeah. look like a, like a unicorn. If you really Almost, stare. man. Okay. I would say fallow. What's yours? You know what I said? What? Directly behind you here, the, the uh, water buck. The water buck? Dude, the water buck, look at his face. Dude, he looks old and just... You know what I mean? Like mature, like he's been around the game. It just looks like, hey, I'm here, I've been around, I've stabbed a lot of things with these two horns. They're straight. Yeah. I'm pretty strong, I got a big neck. Uh, I've, I have knowledge and uh, I'm here to stay. He, yeah. ain't, he ain't taking me down. I agree with that too. What about you, Mike? What, what, what's your what's majestic, the most majestic animal? What's majestic animal in this room? And you can't say me, all right? I'd have to say a white tail, because I just get a fuzzy feeling. I was gonna oh, say that. I was gonna a fuzzy see, feeling. I was when gonna I say that, see man. a white tail walk in, I'm gonna say, dude, dude, I was gonna say that same thing, but I was like, maybe that'd be cheap, because I was gonna say that guy right there. Look at that freaking buck, dude. That's a buck of a lifetime. <laughs> you can't pass up the pheasant either. No, you can't. I, was, I thought you were gonna go something off the wall, like the duck behind you or something. Yeah. Ring neck. I don't know why he got a <laughs> ring neck mountain. I guess the main point is there's such cool things in here. and It's all majestic when you're at the deer camp. Day two, deer camp. Y'all know what's up. It's morning. 
Everybody's putting their camo on. Get some coffee rolling right now. Uh, I'm gonna say about an hour till the sun starts thinking about coming up. But we have a full moon going on. I'm sure critters are moving around. Makes me a little nervous about this morning. We need to get out there early, guys. Pop them. You know what I'm saying? I wanna hear quivers out, arrows flying. Let's throw that hood up. He's like, son, about to get up. Son, I'm about to be leaf, boy. About to be a leaf. About to drop him leaf status on him. Dang, dude, that was good.